The Mysterious Sea Bunny by Peter Raimundo. Gather round, children. We're about to observe something you have never seen before. We are? What is it? Today, we're going to follow the mysterious sea bunny. I knew that was a bunny. Where's it going? I don't know. That's why it's a mystery. So, is a sea bunny a rabbit or a hare? Because they're two different things, you know. Yes, I do, and a sea bunny's neither. Despite its appearance, a sea bunny is actually a sea slug. A slug? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Mm, you could say that, but please say it quietly. It doesn't know we're watching. Oh, I'm good at being quiet. You'll see. Whoa, what's all that stuff? I thought you said you'd be quiet. Uh, oh, never mind. You must mean the sea bunny's trail of slime. Slime? I've made slime before. Not like this, you haven't. The sea bunny makes this slime with its own body. Ew, gross. You should never judge a slug by its slime. This mucus does all kinds of things, like letting the sea bunny crawl wherever it wants. Sea bunny can even crawl upside down if it needs to. Wow, are those suction cups or on his feet or something? Well, no, and no. Sea slugs don't have suction cups, and they don't have feet either. But they do have a foot. It is strong, too. In fact, by rippling the muscles in its foot, the sea bunny can crawl up to 50 feet an hour. That's not far, is it? Hey, where'd the sea bunny go? It didn't go anywhere. We just moved 50 feet away. Sea bunny is right here. Wow, that is far. I can barely see him. That's because sea bunnies are only one inch long. That's like the size of a quarter. It is indeed, and being so small has huge benefits, like the ability to hide just about anywhere. I bet it's great at hide and seek. That's true, especially in the dark. Sea slugs' eyes are so small, they mostly sleep blurry light in shadows. Sea slug, slug vision. Good thing they have those giant ears to hear with. Actually, no. These are not ears. Believe it or not, sea bunnies don't have ears as we know them. And that's lucky for us, or it would have heard you a long time ago. But if these aren't ears, then what are they? Those are called rhinophores, and they're used for smelling. Smelling? Then what's his nose for? Do you see a nose? Hmm, good point. The fact is, some things just aren't what they seem. Kind of like how this looks like a cute, fluffy bunny tail. But these are actually the sea bunny's gills. No way. Wait, what are gills? Gills are what the sea bunny uses to breathe. Hold on a second. You mean sea bunnies? Breathe through their butts? What? No, they breathe through their gills that happen to be on the back side of their bodies. Moving on. Whoa, what's that big yellow spongy thing? That is a sponge. You mean the sea bunny came all this way to take a bath? No, no. Sea sponges are a sea bunny's favorite food, especially the poisonous ones. Wait, a poisonous sponge? Yep, 
if you look closely, you can see the sea bunny sucking tiny bits of sponge. Oh, no! That giant fish is awfully close. And sea bunny's too busy eating to notice. <gasps> look out, sea bunny! Gulp. Sea bunny is okay. We have just witnessed the sea bunny's greatest power. By eating the poisonous sponge, the sea bunny became poisonous himself. No way. Yes way. To most predators, sea slugs taste terrible. Hey, where's the sea bunny going now? Well, perhaps it wants to show us something. Another ocean mystery? A mystery indeed. What is more mysterious than a slug that looks like a bunny? Dozens of sea slugs. Wait, there's no way all of these are slugs. There is a way. Sea bunny is just one of the many shapes, sizes, and colors that sea slugs come in. Look at that big red one can swim. That is a Spanish dancer. I knew it was dancing, but where's it going? We can follow it if you like, but remember, we need to be quiet. Oh, I can be quiet. <sighs> I'm sure you can. <laughs>